Welcome back to another episode of Dark Cloud. I'm Mar, and today we go about our business, I guess? I don't know. Have. Special to do, just gonna go into this. Um. So, after looking up how, what the most efficient way to get miracle chests and everything is, uh. I'm gonna start following that. Because trust me, if we're 100%ing this game, it will take a while, so moving efficiently is important. Especially considering some of the things I'm gonna be doing as we go through. Oh, yeah, this is the second tutorial. And tell me about some other things for dungeon fighting. Anyways, yeah, it tells you how to lock on. I already know how to do that. Uh, and you can guard. So you can change elemental attributes. starts is one attribute. I do like that in this game that you can uh, have any weapon have any attribute. That's a nice feature and it's one a lot of games don't have, right? I will say I absolutely love games with... Gosh darn it. It's just so embarrassing to get poisoned like that. Not once but twice. Um, as I was saying, yeah, the way that, uh, walking is hard. Um, I couldn't, yeah, I completely lost my train of thought, so we're just gonna move on, I guess. Yeah, I, I really like any uh, game with a with an actual proper weapon upgrade system. Um, although some weapon upgrade systems are better than others, that's definitely true. See, if I had not picked explosion, it would have just blown up. Got a gladius. I want a gladius. I do. It doesn't have any uh, any of the special stuff, so there. Uh, the holy attribute is actually really good, so I guess I'll have to decide whether I want to be using the gladius or fast lard. I glanced through the weapon upgrade branches, so that way I could easily understand them. Oh, I can't wait until I have Dran's Feather. Dran's Feather is an item that allows you to move faster, and it is really really nice. In fact, we'll probably be going up above to town until such time as I until such time as I have a Drans Feather after every single one. Just because I want to get a Drans Feather as soon as possible. Oh, uh, there are a bunch of statue dogs. Oh, let me repair my dagger real quick, don't mind me. Uh Rock type enemies like this really do a number on your weapon. A lot of enemies in this game are really not very threatening at all when you know how to fight them. But like, when you're a kid playing this game for the first time, they're very threatening, very scary. Uh I'll have to repair my weapon again all my weapon gets low on HP again, I'm going to have to switch to a different weapon just to avoid it breaking. 
Ugh. There's Gaffer's buggy. Gaffer is the shop for uh, Norian Village, so we uh, we care a lot about uh, getting Gaffer uh, situated. Not even close, baby. If you think he was about to hit me, I don't know what you're talking about. I was fine. But yeah, see, all other weapons have build up, and it'll show... Effectively, you need certain stats to be high enough in order to build up into that weapon. I know, I always like games that have this kind of system. I will say I love, I like the, so Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2 is the same weapon system roughly. Uh, it's roughly the same. Different weapons, of course, but like, conceptually the system is the same. And I greatly prefer the way that the system is presented in I think it's presented much better. Put this for a second. Wonder, does this trick work in this game? It does! Cool. I'll remember that for later. this your face and give your experience to my dagger please thank you how kind of him to give experience where I tell him to but yeah I really love uh, weapon systems um, Although presentation matters a lot with that kind of stuff, like, like when I'm playing Dark Cloud 2, I tend to ignore my weapons a lot more as long as they're strong enough to get the job done, uh, because the weapon system doesn't do as good of a job presentation, so it's just, it's more of a slog to go through all my weapon stuff. Whereas the presentation in this game is really clear and easier to understand. Let's see, I'll put Gaffer's buggy here. Anyway, so Gaffer goes there. Do I not have another lamp? Oh my gosh. I think I have everything else that he needs too. Also, yeah, so you have different uh, percentages here. Collection, completion, quest. Um, I'm gonna be... Uh, tell me how to rebuild your house. Shop for... There. Uh, for goods and a sign. Uh, put the sign on the buggy's roof. Goods on the carpet so they won't get soiled. Okay. Um, okay, fair enough. I don't actually have any of the other things that I need for it. So, fair enough. Um, an interesting thing is that there are multiple versions of a lot of scenes. Also, yeah, you can just run around in first person in this game. And boy, is it trippy. Also, yeah, I think that's the the weirdest thing about this game is, like, you are not uh, as fast as feels like you should be. Oh, interesting. When I'm outside, I can't move while I'm uh, running. Anyway, so I'm going to save real quick because of what I'm about to do. So 
Because what I'm about to do is be really obstinate in getting a high ranking or something. Um, because I really want a diamond, uh, if I can get one. I'll take any gem. Oh. I just want a really nice gem. Yeah, happy. Sometimes you just need a nice gem. Now you die, they say threateningly. I realize now that I should have done something. Oh well. It's fine. This is a special event room. In case you're wondering, what I should have done was use the repair powder and then uh gotten another one from him. It's a tough one, Tone. You will have to duel him. Duel is a special form of combat. Controller button mark will move from right to left. Press the right button when they line up with the light blue bar. Arrows such as left mean press in that direction with either the directional button or the left analog stick. Anyway. Yeah, gotta press some buttons. Anyway, there we go. If you get all cools, then you get, uh, excellent, and you get a present from the Fairies of Terra. Got an emerald. Not as good as a diamond, but I'll take it. Uh, so the real- I'm not gonna actually, uh, put this in, but the real benefit of these is- So that increases my magic by 10, and specific, uh, uh, elements by a fair amount as well. Make my life a little easier. Anyway, get Duran's Crest and Power Up Powder. Which I'm going to smartly, you know, not use right now. There's absolutely no reason to be using Powder Up, power up Powder at this point in the game. And really, it, it really is a waste to use it this early. Not use power up powder. Point the game. Oh, so I should grab these. Speed, the most useless upgrade. <gasps> Fluffy donut! So, every character has a favorite food, and when they eat it, it increases their defense. <laughs> the, the trophy's called comfort. That's good. Um, I haven't actually looked up what the trophies for this game are, so, like, if I seem surprised by a trophy, that's why. Uh, yeah. Alright, uh, so I need to talk to this guy. Thanks, um... I think it's interesting that you can uh, use repair powder from two different places. Anyway, power up powder just lets you do an upgrade without filling up the XP bar. For right now, I will be pointedly not using any power up powder I come across because it's not worth using yet. While my abs amounts are pretty small. Like, I, I'm level- I like, my weapons are gonna level up at a pretty quick pace just playing the game. So I'm better off waiting until... Uh... Until they won't be leveling up quickly while just playing the game. You know? Better to wait until it would actually be... Uh, detrimental. Oh, hey look, another... Another meeting with the Fairy King. I swear he will eventually stop showing up every floor. It's going got the hang of yeah, the floors mean this one are even tougher. Now the advanced courses give you a fair chance because of the meaner enemies down below. Are you using your charge attack when fighting enemies? Yeah, it's actually X, but anyway, uh yeah. Weapons absorb attachments. 
and they all have limits. When you stats break, yeah, it's explaining more things about the weapon system, but... Let's continue on, shall we? Bones just like, like his eyes are just so glazed over right there. So let me, uh... By the way, so the tram oil is what's necessary to go to the back forts in, uh, in this area. And if you're wondering why I'm not doing it, it's really for a very simple reason. Um, I don't have enough repair powder. Uh, one of the benefits of going to the back floors is that you get to fight more enemies. That's not actually helpful to me right now, because I, I can't stock up on repair powder and just fight a whole bunch of enemies, but I, I can't buy it yet. And the mayor will only give me one at a time because he's a cheapskate. Uh, and the main reason they have the mayor only give you one at a time is that way it's not a mechanical downgrade when you do have a shop. You know, if you were getting all this stuff for free and then suddenly it costs money, that'd really suck. Go. Yeah, beat another statue dog. Got another chest. It's not a King Mimic, so that's good. Um, I don't actually think Mimics can appear yet, but by the way, Mimics are a thing in this game. Mimics in this game are why I have trust issues. damage isn't high enough to just disregard them and, and hit them. Not yet, anyway. Okay, over here. Some more. Oh. At least I can two-shot statue dogs now, so. Yeah, that's nice. Probably gonna be a few more floors until I get, uh... Until I get my dagger up to plus five, at which point I can start using a different weapon. I have to decide whether I want to be using a Gladius or a... Vassalard. Also. Uh, gotta check every weapon I pick up. Because I'm hoping for something that's pretty rare. Okay, now, now I actually have to repair it. Sitting there absolutely maxing out the usage before I repair it. You know, it's important to do. It's really annoying how many statues there are. There we go. Another statue defeated. Really wish I had a active shop. But I actually don't want to put the shop up yet. For reasons. enemy defeated by the power of me for I am the mightiest of the heroes with my dagger and heroicness look I'm not saying that tones out of his depth here I'm just saying that the evil genie literally destroyed half the world in a night and I don't think a dagger is gonna stop it Anyway, so we're going to remove uh, all this stuff off and upgrade the dagger without any of it on. And the reason you do that is because when you uh, break something down uh, for a synth, 
It's like when I turn it into a sense sphere, I only get a percentage of its stats. So I don't want to waste uh, really nice stat boosting stuff on it to only get a percentage of that. Oh, what's wrong thing? Uh, wrong key. There we go. Oh boy, pumped with energy. Not that matters because there aren't any enemies left, but pumped with energy nonetheless. Uh, pumped with energy just means you deal extra damage and stuff. It's just a nice effect. Um, but yeah, so what I was saying earlier about the weapon rare thing that I was waiting for is all weapons can have special things on them, uh, special traits, and one of them is durable. Most special traits have a specific weapon that they will always appear on. But, uh, Durable does not have a specific weapon that will always appear on. It just doesn't. And so, uh, yeah, you're just kind of stuck. That's all there is to that one. Alright, uh, let's look in Giorama. Don't have what I need. I'm gonna go get supplies from the mayor and then go back down. And that'll be the episode for today. I get supplies from the mayor. There we go. Supplies obtained. Off I go. Um. So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.